Hello, this is Mohamed Yakoub, and in this video, I'm going to describe our programming star rules for enums. The first rule is when defining an enum, you shall always type diff an enum. So, if I'm to define a new enum, um, I should type diff that um, particular enum instead of defining it normally with just an enum um, keyword. And the second rule is when I'm to name a, an enum type, I shall always follow the Pascal case convention. So at this case, I'm going to create a new enum to list the accelerometer configuration full scale. And according to the document, the full scale options are 2, 4, 8, and 16G. Uh, so I'm going to add those to my enum. So I'm going to call my enum um, Axel Full Scale, stand for Accelerometer Full Scale. And according to rule number two, I shall follow the Pascal case convention. Um, and that's to uh, always start any word with the uppercase letter. So this is going to be Axel Full Scale. And then rule number three, is to add a suffix to the enum type name and that's underscore e to mark it as enum so essentially we've got three main generic rules for enums and those are to use type diff to follow pascal case with a type name and to add a suffix to the enum type name and now the fourth rule is on the specific element names i shall also use the type diff name with underscore and then specify the exact unique element name in my case that's going to be 2g for the first element and i want to um, explicitly set that to uh, zero um, normally enums would set the first element to zero but i'd like to uh, do that manually just to guarantee it will always have the value equal to uh, zero and you can also set you can also force all the elements values to the uh, numbers you want. It's not necessarily an ordered number on an ordered list. So in our case, however, it is a, uh, an ordered list. Um, and so the, similarly, the second element is going to be 2G. Um, and you can notice how um, we're still using the type name uh, as a, we start with a type name and then with an underscore and then specify the element name. So that's essentially rule number uh, four. Okay, now we'll do the rest of the enum elements, 18 and finally 16G. And now we've got a fifth rule for enums as well. Um, that's kind of additional. Um, so if you have an enum that's unique to a specific source file, you can add the source file name as a prefix to uh, make it distinct all across your software. Um, and that's similar to what we did with the uh, structure in the last, in the previous tutorial, if you can recall, um, where we have added a prefix as the file name to our struct type name um, to make it distinct on our software. This is particularly good practice. So let's do that here as well. So I'm going to add npu 6050 as a um, prefix to the enum name. Um, and similarly, we're going to add this to the uh, individual elements as well since those follow rule number four okay so these are basically all the main rules that you need to know about enums now let's do a quick fun example of using enums so previously i have added the accelerometer full scale to the configuration structure here uh, but i used the row normal type unsigned eight. Now, since I have defined an enum that holds the full scale selection and, um, and it's basically in the right place, it's on the header file because I'd like user to access those enum elements um, to set the values. So it's okay, it's the correct place to keep them in the header file. So now I'm gonna copy the enum type name and I'm gonna set it here on the um, structure instead of unsigned 8 to my accelerometer full scale parameter. And now, similarly, 
um, I'm going to change and modify my initialization function to accept full scale of type um, of type full scale enum and I need to do the same on the header file as well to avoid type conflicts and now on my main um, instead of passing this row number um, parameter to the initialization function now I can simply pass in one of those settings let's say ag um, to the initialization function parameter um, and that's how to um, that's how to write in um, uh, according to our programming style and that's how to use it so let's quickly build just to make sure we haven't got any errors and sure enough we haven't got any errors um, and this brings me to the end of this um, tutorial thanks for watching